welcome back to makers creating so today i'm going to be showing you how to make some people call these bummies some people call these shorty or bloomers they, or they call them diaper covers so this is what they look like i don't know if you can see here's a full view of them and they're very easy to make the pattern that i'm using i purchased off of etsy and so i am going to show you how easy it is to make these this is not a beginner project this is more of an intermediate to advanced because i'm going to be using my sewing machine and my serger for this the material that i'm using is this is a cotton fabric for the mermaid scales and i purchased this from walmart this top part is a stretchy uh polyester cotton blend for the band at the waist and for the around the legs um bumblebee material that i'm going to be cutting and this will be the diaper cover part and then the band for the waist and the legs will be black so if you want to see me make it just keep watching okay so i'm back so this is the pattern so instead of me cutting the pattern that i printed out to get the six to twelve month i just drew it out and put it on another piece of paper and so i'll just hold on to that i did just fold it back for the band part to the six to twelve month for the cuffs and for the waistband so all i have to do is fold it over when i cut it and make sure that when you're cutting your fabric if you've never used a pattern before or that you cut on the fold if it has here so that means you'll fold it over and then cut it and i'll show you um cutting patterns i love these pdf patterns that they have now that you can use they're really simple but i also use patterns like this also so they're not hard to use but when i first started sewing they were very intimidating but i wanted to learn so i learned how to read the patterns and know how to cut them so first we're going to start with the band and the cuff and that's going to be with my black fabric so we'll do that first and you want to cut the pattern will tell you everything you need to know so you want to cut it with the stretch going horizontal so like for this fabric there's not really any stretch the, the stretch is you want to make sure that the stretch is going that way. And this is not the right fabric. I'm sorry. Let me grab the right stretchy black fabric. And this is actually like a scuba knit fabric here. It's nice and soft. I like this for when I make dresses for myself. So this is nice and stretchy. So it's stretchy. So you want to fold this over. And this is a big piece that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, so. the bumblebee material got this from walmart this is the little skirt that i made for um 
hopefully my knees can fit this but if not that's okay but this is a skirt that i made isn't that so cute and i'm gonna make a bow to go with it and probably i'll do an embroidered shirt to match it too that is so cute hey, if you want me to do a tutorial on the, the little girl skirt i will be happy to just put it in the comments and i will be more than happy to do that so this gets cut on a fold also for that for the actual bloomer part the body of it let me do it this way that'll make it easier for me cuffs and this is our waistband and now we're going to go to the sewing machine all right so we are at the sewing machine and so what the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sew the sides and the seat the bottom of the bummies together so you're going to sew let me get it in view this part and then the sides and I'm just going to leave this white thread in here and I'm going to do a one fourth seam allowance down both sides gonna do the bottom part you're gonna just sew right around that curve there back stitch always back stitch let's do this other side and so done and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the cuff part and the waistband part so what you're going to do with the cuff you're going to fold it in half so this is it's folded in half you're going to do a one-fourth seam allowance down that side where it's cut You're going to do the same thing for all three pieces. And if you wonder, I chain stitch, I don't cut until at the end, I just chain stitch and just keep pushing them through. And that's when I'm sewing in bulk, that's what I do. I just chain stitch. so that's done so now we'll cut and i'm using the lb6800 project runway combo machine this is actually an embroidery and sewing machine so then what you're going to do here is you're going to take so this is how it looks like this you're going to fold it over 
open up the seam here. We're going to just finger press this seam open. Like this. And fold it over like this. One cuff. You're going to do the same thing for all of them. You're going to finger press open. That's how you finger press it open. You're going to line them up, the seams up. And you're going to fold it over. That's two. So that's the cuffs. And then you're going to do the same thing for the waistband. Finger press it open. Fold it over. And you're, then this is how it'll look for. And so I'm going to go back to my cutting table just to show you how you put it together. All right. So I'm back at my um, cutting table. And so what you want to do with these is you want to line these up with the seam. So, and what I mean by that is here's the seam here. You're going to line it up with the seam here. So we're just going to open this up a little bit so you can line it up. So it should be lined up. Hopefully you can see that. I know that that black is dark, but it should be seam to seam. And I'm going to bring my wonder clips over and you're going to pin. You're going to clip it. And... Then you'll just take and do right across from it at the other seam, open this seam up here, clip it again. And I think of this as like you're doing north, then you're going to do south, and then you're going to do east, and then you're going to do west. And you clip it. And then you're going to go to the other side, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go into put them at four places you're gonna put them line it up again you got so here's one my finger might have been in the way and you're gonna put a clip and you're going to stretch it out just like this. And I really hope that you're getting a good view of what I'm doing. there and we'll open that up right there and then we'll do the other side Okay, so now you've got the cuffs at the bottom done. And now you're going to do the waistband. So this is the back part. How I do mine 
is I'm going to line up the two seams on the side, lay this down, and that's how I'm going to get my center area for the front and for the back. Okay. So see, now you should see it's an indentation there and it's a indentation there. And you'll take this here and you're placing it inside and you're going to line it up that seam with that indentation right there and you're going to do that and then you're going to line it up here like this And you're going to stretch it, sugar. <laughs> I stretched it right off of there. Let me put this back together. All right. And you're gonna stretch it. And you're gonna stretch it. All right, so we have everything all clipped off, and we're going to go to the serger now. Okay, so we are now at the serger. And I'm going to start with the, the top part, the waistband first. And... I'm going to put this under here. Hope that you can see this pretty good. There's my tail there for my serger. If you haven't used a serger, um, I'm not gonna say that it, I had to learn and I've learned by watching YouTube videos, but I love it because it makes your clothes have such a wonderful finished look. So I love the serger and it's fast too. All right, so get started. And you're just going to gently pull this waistband as you're sewing it. Just showing you how you'll feed through these ends through. So you'll have these ends here, and we're just gonna feed them through. So you don't cut them off. You'll take a tapestry needle. And you will feed it through these stitches. And you'll just cut this off and you'll do the same thing for the other one. And see now you can't see all those loose. And so this is the inside there's some loose thread here but this is the inside and this is the finished product all done
all finished. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can know every time I upload a new video.